Hello, everybody. Good, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are hearing us. Uh, I'm Mike Basile. This is my wife, Becky Basile. We've been married 27 years. Uh, that 27 years, we've, we've each had our own relationship with Jesus and our relationship together with Jesus. I've been a believer, sold out believer for about 28 years. Uh, Becky's been a sold out believer for about 40 years. That's the life she's always known and she's always known, truly known Jesus during that time. Of the 27 years we've been married, I was in the Marine Corps for 20 of those years. And the reason that's important for me to tell you that is because we've moved all the time. So we have a lot of church exposure, different types of churches, primarily Baptist churches, but we have a lot of church exposure, a lot of ministry exposure, and a lot of just mission trip ministry exposure. And we wanted to talk to you today about Zona Zagura because there should be Caesar and Gabby and Omar and Valerie that are visiting with you today. And that's why you're seeing this video. So we would like to share with you what we have observed of Zona Zagura. Go ahead, dear. Um, for me, uh, I have made four trips over the last three years down to Peru to work with Caesar and Gabby and Omar and Valerie and the folks at um, Zona Zagura. And for me, the thing that's really stuck out um, that, that I've been able to witness over the time of being able to, to see uh, repeat trips with them is the personal growth um, that I've been able to see from, from the team members and also just the, uh, the growth of the organization. And to me, that's been very encouraging, and it's also been very, uh, what's the word? Enlightening. Well, just for me to look at myself, um, because every time I go back, I see how much they've grown. And as a Christian, we all should be striving to have that same growth in our own lives. So, um, you know, it's caused me to reflect and caused me to search my own soul, soul and my own uh, Christian walk and, and desire to have that same kind of growth in my own life. So it's been, very, it's been a blessing to be able to go and to witness that, and it's, um, it's just been a joy to be able to work with them. So, good. that's all I have. Good. I would like to encourage you to go to Cusco and work with Zona Zagura, because what you're going to see when you work with these guys in their element is you're going to see pure, unadulterated religion. I know we sometimes, we see religion as rote memorization. So religion is the best word I could think of. It's not rote. It's pure. It's raw. It's faith based on what they've learned from Scripture. They have no formal training. What they read in the Bible is what they act on. They have no formal traditions. They have no preconceived ideas. They just picked up the Bible and said, what did God say? And How did the New Testament church conduct themselves? And then they went with it. They use scripture as their guide, and they pray, and they fast, and they say, Father, what do we do? And when he tells them what to do, they go do it. If you want to see a picture of the New Testament church, watch them in action, because that's what they are. They're not like anything I've ever seen anywhere in the world. They are the New Testament church. In closing, I mentioned I started this was encouraging you to meet them. Please go down there and work with them because if you go down there and work with them, you will want to be with them and you will want to go down there and be with them again. Becky said she's been there four times. I've been there five times since 2009. All my trips with Omar, the last four working with Caesar and Gabby, a couple of those trips getting to work with Valerie too. So I have an intimate relationship with them. I trust them explicably. I know their heart. Their heart is real. And I think when you look across the table at them and see them, you will know how genuine they are. So I pray uh, that you work with them in some form or fashion. Financially would be awesome, but go down there and be with them and come along beside them and you will never be the same that I can promise you. Lord bless you and keep you and thank you for your time and thank you for hosting them.